I should like to recall with great pride and admiration Your Excellency's laudable role and heroic contributions to the birth of Pan-Africanism and the growth of African nationalism in those glorious days of our nationalist struggles in our foreign land that bring to mind other illustrious Africans whose names must, for posterity, be enshrined in letters of gold when the battle for African liberation is finally won and when the checkered history of African emancipation is written by Africans, uh, Africa's own sons. Suffice it to say, for the, time, uh, for the meantime, therefore, Mr. President, that the government and entire people of Nigeria are profoundly appreciative of your continuing efforts in the march towards the total liberation of Africa from foreign rule, colonial oppression, economic exploitation, and the heretical bigotry of white minority supremacy on our African soil. These last few <coughs> months have indicated once again that despite decades of ruthless operation, oppression, the people of South Africa have not acquiesced in their degradation. Their spirit has not been broken, even by murder and torture on a large scale. Without arms and almost without hope, they have again protested and being, at being treated as less than human. We who live in freedom and whose claim to national sovereignty rests only on the principles of human equality and national self-determination, have no alternative but to give them whatever support we can give them. 